Did you hear Baba? Did you hear his question? No. Are you supposed to touch uh, air conditioning? No. Why did you touch it? I don't give a shit if it's getting hot. You're a tough guy. You don't touch the air conditioning. I'll deal with you tomorrow on that. Now, did the room have any windows or any outside light? No, it only had an air conditioner. Okay. Let's talk about that air conditioner for a second. Were you um, allowed to touch or operate the air conditioner? No. Um, were you allowed to turn it on if you were hot or turn it off if you were too cold? No. Would you get in trouble if you um, touched the air conditioner at all? Yes. And who did that direction come from? Did the room have any lights? It had a light, but it was controlled outside the room. Okay, so if you wanted to turn on the light, um, is that something that you could do when you were inside the room? No. Um, did you have any control over when the lights were on or when the lights were off? Who controlled that? Uh, my parents, Tim or Tracy. Okay. Were there times that you were in the room in the dark? Yes. Uh, is that at night sometimes? Yes, and also during the day. Okay, so there are periods of time during the day where you would be there in the dark, in the room. Yes. Like in the room when the lights were off. Um, it was pitch black. You couldn't see anything. Would you have to feel your way around to yes. see what's going on? I can tell you that after watching those videos that they are certainly damaging to the defense. In one of them, we see Timothy Farrader pushing his son, screaming at him, threatening. And then in a heartbreaking aftermath, we see the boy alone in the pitch dark crying night after night. The doctor who testified called it sadistic and torture. This is video of Timothy Farrager installing a ring camera in the box-like room he built in his garage to confine his teenage son. But the videos he captured are now coming back to haunt him, being played in his false imprisonment trial as evidence of child abuse. One of the videos showed Tim Farrager grab the boy, push him, and scream threats. You want to take this thing to the next level? Let's do it. Let's do it for it to Let's do it for it too. Let's go. Then he slams out, turns out the light, and you hear the boy crying alone in the dark. He's afraid of, of another uh, abusive episode occurring or, or being harmed, or he said he was even afraid of, of being killed. Dr. Wade Myers testified for the state after watching the videos. We're not showing them so as not to identify the boy, but they depict day after day of the boy being woken up, spoken to briefly by his mother, Tracy, going to school, and then coming straight back to being locked in the box again. Often, his few books or meals were taken away or lights turned off as punishment. He's literally, for three years, spending the most of his life, the majority of it, in solitary confinement with very uh, little uh, uh, stimulation and interaction when he is in there. Farrager's attorneys asked the doctor about the boy's psychological problems, including oppositional defiance disorder. He said he'd need to know more about the boy's circumstances when that diagnosis was made. But earlier, he said this. There's no set of circumstances uh, concerning a child's behavior. I tell me something? You want to tell me what? This is your one chance. Don't look at me like a. Do I tell me something or not? Uh, I have a knife. Yeah, from where? Uh, blue, blue band. Blue? Uh, green band. Steve? Steve again? What the f is wrong with you? Thank you. 
you're gonna steal it, you're gonna talk to kids, I'm gonna give you a deal. Okay? You're, you're gonna steal from a house? You'll be done with school. You'll be in here homeschooling. And I told you that's a possibility. So go ahead and catch me tomorrow by going to school and misbehaving or doing anything you shouldn't do. Test it. Did you hear Baba?